welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be teaching you about templates in libraryr office writer so firstly what is a template a template is a preset layout that helps to create professional and or formal documents easily that means it is a kind of a ready made layout which will help you to create a formal or a professional document it will give you the basic ideas uh, the sample data it will give you it can be the logo also so i'll be teaching you all these things practically so just now i am just showing you the interface how it looks like moving to the next topic using templates why we use templates sometimes there is a need to copy specific content including graphics such as logo of a company image of a product or text such as tag lines of a product or a company legal notices or even headers and footers in multiple documents so what it means so sometimes there is a specific need of a particular content again and again for example suppose tool pad now whenever we have to write any official letter we have to use tool pad again and again so it will be better if we we'll make a template in which we can give the school logo on the top and uh, the name of the school because that has to be used again and again in that case we could use template and sometimes any important notices in headers or footers in that case templates will be very beneficial so checking the template of a document when the document is created with template this window will display the name of the template so this is the basic window and here where it is written template in front of that the name of the template will be written I'll just take you to Libre Office Writer, and there I'll show you how practically we can use the template. So this is the basic interface of Libre Office Writer, and if I click on File and Properties here, the same window what just now I was showing you the same. and where it is written template nothing is used because just now i am not using any template okay i'll just close it now now where i could see the template if i click on file new here you could see the templates different template option is there or you could click on file and here also you could find templates and here you could find manage templates from here also the templates dialog box will come in front of you and you could see different templates which can help you to make professional documents coming back to the topic now how to create a template creating a template using in build save templates first option so whatever templates is been provided by libre office writer we could use that template for our work libre office allows to use the in build templates as well as the templates created and saved by us that means whatever the templates which are provided by libre office writer can be used by us and as well the templates which are created and saved by us for future use all these things we'll be doing it practically firstly the first point we'll try to cover practically using in build save templates for that i'll be clicking on file new templates see either i can go from here new and here templates control shift plus n is a keyboard shortcut 
or from here also file templates and manage templates control shift n here also control shift n and here also control shift n by any way i could come to this option i'll just click upon this you could see here different options are there so i can use any option according to my need suppose i am using this cv template so i can just click upon this and click on open you could see here this is the template that means already it has made a cv for me curriculum vitae for me and it is giving you the idea how to make the curriculum vitae just I have, what i have to do i have to just write the name if i am making my curriculum vitae or my resume and i can write here address means any address i can write here then just any fictitious address i have given phone number i could add means it is just giving me the idea template is just giving me the idea some other i will use i'll just close it i'll not save it again going to file templates manage templates and see here business letter i could use this also two types of there double click also will do the work for me now just see it is giving me the idea that i have to write here sender's name okay so i can just write here the sender's name that means the person who is sending the mail suppose abc company name cd c company so means it is giving you the idea how to write a letter and just you have to change with the particular name to whom you are sending the letter and here you could paste your own logo and sender's name rest you can write whatever you want here so template is very beneficial and it is helping you to write a letter i'll not save this i'll just close it so two types of template i have already shown to you we were using built in templates one more i have found this template very useful business card with logo i can double click it also just to on it yes you could see here in library office writer page it has made a visiting card so here i could write my data here suppose a b c and here my data can be entered and uh, after entering the data email an email fictitious email phone number then if i'll synchronize the labels so whatever the data is being filled here that will be copied automatically and then you can very easily take the print out that means very easily you are able to make your visiting cards by using this template i hope the first point is very much clear to you how to use built in templates now this is very much clear to you second point creating own template now it is also possible to create own template and save the current styles and appearance of a document for future use now you have the way to create your own templates as i was giving the example to create a template for a school pad because you have to use the school pad again and again for writing official letters so for that i can create my own template so directly i'll be taking you towards libreoffice writer interface 
and here I'll try to make my own template so it's very easy I just want to put the logos here on the top it can be any type of logos so I'll try to insert a logo here insert image so I'm having this logo I'll use this cool logo the size is too big I'll make it small now here I want to write the address of the school I want to increase the size I'll make this in center and I want to increase the size so the size is increased if I want I can change the font it can be your choice so after this once I have made the template for the school pad I can save it save it as a template so I can very easily save it click on file templates save as template In my templates I'll just save it I'll give the name as official pad so my template is saved now if I want to load this template I'll open my writer document click on file templates manage templates you could see here official pad click on this open and as a result you could see that everything is ready and now I can start writing means it is saving my time because every time whenever I have to write the letter I need this matter I hope you have learned how to create your own template moving to the next topic so using built-in save templates it's been clear to you creating own template that is also clear to you using online templates so LibreOffice provides a wide range of online templates which can be downloaded from internet so whatever the templates you have seen there it's available but if you need something more more templates so that you could download from internet and once these templates are installed on the computer they will appear in templates window so I'll just click on this link as a result you could see here under extensions different templates are there okay uh, according to your need I can download any template different tags are given according to that you could download the templates and after downloading you could use it like curriculum with a next separate kind of a template has been given so many are there it depends what you need so I'll come back to the topic creating a template we have done all the three topics using in inbuilt templates creating own template using online templates now the next topic editing a template once a template is created desired changes can be made in it how to do that desired changes suppose I'll close this one and uh, I'll go to templates edit template official pad I have opened now here suppose I want to give one more logo I'll just 
control C and and then control V. Now it's working. I'll put one more logo here. Suppose this I was wanting to do. Click on file and save. Now the template is saved. Now let's check it. Again the blank one. Now I want to go to templates, manage templates, official pad. Double click it or you could click here open and as a result whatever the changes you have done that's been saved. I hope now you have learned how to edit a template. Next topic setting up a custom default template. How could you set up a custom default template? What it means any template can be set as a default template. A writer gives a blank document as a default template. At the same time, any template file can be set as a default template. So whichever file is been set as a default template, when it loads, it will give the same effect which is given in the template. Uh, I'll show it practically to you. Suppose, uh, I am going to templates, manage templates, official pad, right click, set as default. Now I will click on close, I will close this, here also I will close. Now I want to start in a fresh way, I want to click on write a document. You will see here, now when I have opened my writer, by default this template is loaded. I hope now I am clear what I was wanting to explain you. But this is my default template. We will set some other also. I will click on writer, templates, manage templates. Suppose I, I want to set this modern business letter as the default template I can click on right click set as default close or just check it clicking on write a document and you could see here this template is loading as a default template I hope this concept is very much clear to you how to set up a custom default template but I will just close this and going back again it's the same thing but i don't want that this should be the default template i can click on templates manage templates and uh, right click reset default i have to click so that whatever was the default that should come that means a black document okay we'll just check this So now it's coming as a blank. One thing more I want to show you from the template. Suppose again I'm going to templates, um, official pad I'm opening. Now if I am going to file properties, you could see here in front of template, official pad. This is the name of the template what I have given. My own custom template is coming. In the starting I have showed you when I was not using any template, no name was coming. But now as I am using it, the name is coming. I hope this concept is also clear to you. So with this, I am closing my topic based upon templates. I hope everything is very much clear to you. Still if any doubts are there, you can ask me with the help of your comments and if you like my explanation then please do like share and comment and also subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier okay bye bye take care meet you soon with my next tutorial